This week I worked on the cursor, showing where the selected tool will change the pixels on the canvas. This feature isn't completely necessary for a one pixel brush, because it will simply be the pixel at the tip of the mouse cursor. In the easel editor, however, I want to give the player the ability to change the brush size, so seeing the outline becomes vital. The aliased pixel brush is just the pencil from the previous editor with the added ability to change the tip size. The two new main brushes are anti-aliased, meaning they will change the pixel color proportionally to how much of the brush covers each pixel. In this case, the brush cursor shouldn't snap to the affected pixels, but move fluidly to indicate partial coverage. Similarly, the shape shouldn't fit the pixel edges, but show the actual geometry that will be used to calculate the coverage. I also fixed a bug that made the cursor appear too much to the right, since the easel isn't positioned in the center. Not only that, with the fix I was able to include the move tool, and the easel now automatically adapts to support the canvas. When it can't, the editor enters the full screen mode, where you can also zoom into the canvas. This was all I had time for this week, as my financial situation changed and I was updating my portfolio to try and get additional sources of income. I'd like to continue working on Pixel Art Academy as much as possible, so if you want to financially support the project and can afford to do so, take a look at my Patreon. Pledging at any tier will give you access to all currently released features of the game, as well as an additional time-lapse vlog at the start of each month. Thank you to everyone who's already supported the project, and thank you for watching.